You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Hey, this is Al McGee with your Entertainment Ticket. I'm here at Big Time Boxing Gym, but I'm here with a future champion, Andre Durrell, in the middleweight division, super middleweight division. He's fighting a guy named James DeGal, and it's going to be May 23rd in Boston. Tell us about that. Uh, it's going to be a great fight, man. He's a fellow Olympian, 2008 gold medalist. You know, I, as you know, am 2004 bronze medalist. Um, he has one defeat on his record, which he believes he did win, you know, and I have one defeat on my record, which I believe I did win. So Yeah, both of y'all got the same record, but yeah. both y'all, you know, have the same claims that, you know, I yeah. saw yours. Yeah. I feel you were cheated. Definitely. I saw his, eh, I thought that was a right. draw, but yours was much clearer. You were the you were the better boxer that night. Right, definitely, definitely, you know. So that still leaves the fact that he feels like he's undefeated. And then, of course, I feel the same way, you know. So we're in for a good fight just to keep our, you know, so-called blemish record, you know, unblemished, because I want to say I'm definitely cheated but never defeated. You know, and um, it's going to be a good fight, man. I'm really looking forward to it, man. James Gill, a good fighter, but I have a lot to prove, and I will show just how talented I am come May 23rd. Well, you know, IBF got him ranked number one and got mm -hmm. you number two, but yeah. here both of you guys are fighting for right. the IBF championship belt. Mm -hmm. How good you feel about that? I feel excellent, man. I feel great, man. I'm so happy I have this opportunity. This is my second world championship fight. I only fought once and yet before we just, we know that outcome. And uh, ironically, the guy who vacated that building is the guy I lost the title too. So Frosh, you know, Frosh, exactly. So if I, uh, so once I beat James again, Frosh want to go for another shot at his belt, then he definitely has the opportunity to do so because I'm ready and willing any time, any day. And man, your training has been impactful. In fact, you got the heavyweight champion. Chris Bird on your side, and also yeah. you got your grandfather. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be great. Now, name me, uh, give us just a little bit of him. I don't want you to give a lot because I don't want the guy to get to take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. uh, what they've he been training you to do? He can't. He can't take advantage. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna just put it like this. I worked a lot smarter. You know, along with working hard, I'm a hard worker, man. You I, are. I push myself to the limit every day as much as I possibly can, man. You know, and I made it in 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 uh my training has become a lot smarter, you know, so I'm working on everything I need to work on to be exact, you know, on what I need to do that night in the ring, man. If, if plan A don't work, plan B don't work, plan C, D, E will work. So, you know, I have a solid game plans for this guy. I'm going to execute and I, and I believe I'll have my way. I believe you have your way too. Well, thank you for taking time with your entertainment ticket and me, Al McGee, yeah, lot, here man. at Big Time Boxing. Man, you will win. And hopefully I'm going to come there and see it in person. Yeah, I look forward to it, man. I appreciate you having me. Thanks for having me. All right, thank you very much.